Mission accomplished. Now we can initiate the survey. It's like we're about to activate a magic eye that deconstructs reality. Let's make sure we get a good look. Initiating data scan, amplifying the Class A signal. Search in progress. Hold on. Can we get a more detailed comparison at this anchor point? Right away. We need a detailed spectral analysis, Ace. Let's speed it up. Omnium reaction detected. Space time anchor point confirmed. <sighs> the features are a perfect match. Oh, it's Mara. Looks like Domain 9 can indeed receive Omnium from Mara. <sighs> <sighs> Now, it's time for us to present our findings. Based on the calculations we've just carried out, we can confidently say that it is possible to build a Tower of Fantasy right here in Domain 9. But that's just the feasibility from an objective point of view. So, people of Domain 9, have you also made your decision on whether to move forward with this plan? Let's see where your resolve stands. Building a Tower of Fantasy. Drawing Omnium energy from Mara. This means we're attempting to harness a power that doesn't inherently belong to us. But the darkness has placed Domain Nine's existence at significant risk. We must use every possible method or resource we have at our disposal right now. We have to face the risks associated with the Tower of Fantasy, no matter what they are. Back then, 
Hycros was like an amateur sorcerer who had only picked up a few basic spells yet forced themselves to wield grand magic. The consequence was... Boom! Very dangerous. <sighs> anyway, that was just a limitation of our scientific understanding back then. Learning from Asperia's mistakes, I believe we'll be more careful with the Tower of Fantasy's operation in Domain 9. Jun Gong will spare no effort to ensure the smooth operation of the Tower of Fantasy in Domain 9. And that's not all. We also plan to further strengthen our partnership with Hykros, contributing to our joint understanding of Omnium technology. With our combined efforts, we might just find a better way to ensure the safe and smooth operation of the Tower of Fantasy. Alright, I'm looking forward to the technology from Domain 9. Before officially modifying the Infinite Sundial, I need to prepare the Omnium Reactor first. It's crucial as it will allow the Infinite Sundial to process and channel the energy from Mara. It's about time I reported our progress to my teacher. I need to head back to High Crows first. I will arrange for a Domain Guard to accompany Miss Brevi back to the Celestial Gate. Especially considering the frequent disruptions from the darkness, travel safety is a necessity. Thank you! I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Master Yu, abyss currents have manifested across Joltville. The darkness is ceaselessly flooding into Domain 9. The situation near Tianzhong Pavilion is particularly dire, and Lord Fu Li has requested Madame Huang to take immediate action. Hmm. <laughs> Clearly, the darkness is exploiting the abnormal fluctuations caused by the survey earlier. They just never quit! I'll go deal with it now, Master Yu. Tianzhong Pavilion is fundamentally important. If the darkness's activities jeopardize its facilities, it could affect the entire timestamp system. Would it be possible for the Executor and Miss Shirley to join Mimi? Leave it to us. Thank you.